If you had to ask most people, like maybe you had to go ask one of your parents what the most simple shape they think, or what they think the most simple shape is, most people are going to say the square. But did you know that mathematically, it's actually the mo one of the most complicated shapes? We'll see that in this video. So as always, let's start off with a parallelogram and see how we can modify it to become a square. So if you watched the video on the rectangle, what we did to turn this into a rectangle was we took this part over here and we dragged it backwards until this became 90 degrees. And so what we ended up with was the following. And so we had that over there with that being 90 degrees. And so we had ourselves a rectangle. Then when we looked at the rhombus, we had to do something else. So I'm going to quickly do another parallelogram. And what we did with this parallelogram to turn it into a rhombus was we manipulated the shape so that these two sides were equal in length, like this. So we could manipulate the shape until the two sides were equal, like that. And so what we said then was that that is equal to that. And then this shape became a rhombus. Now, to get a square, we need to get the 90 degree, like what we did with a rectangle, and we need the two or four sides, sorry, not the two sides, we need all four sides to be equal. So we're gonna have to do what we did to a rectangle and the rhombus. So let's do that. So here's a parallelogram once again. Now we're gonna drag this corner back until we form a 90 degree. See what we've done? So we've just dragged that shape back. Now we can just delete the underlying parallelogram. And there we have a 90 degree now. And this was a rectangle. Now what we're gonna do at this rectangle is we are gonna move it around so that these two sides become the same. So let's do that. So we're going to drag this part around until it becomes the same length as the other one. So that will be approximately over there. And now what we have is that over there. So there's our square. And remember, it's still going to be a parallelogram because all we did was we took a parallelogram and we moved it around a bit, but all of its properties will still be upheld. And so the properties of a parallelogram are the following. So all the opposite sides are going to be equal in length. We know then, we also know that because it's a parallelogram, the opposite sides are parallel. And so if we have to use the, the U, which we can see over here, we can then say that this angle and this angle have to add up to 180 degrees. Because remember, that's how the U works. And so what we will find then is that this corner angle here is gonna end up being 90 degrees as well. And so if we had to keep going around the shape, we'd see that all four sides are gonna be 90 degrees. Now let's throw in some diagonals. And what we'll find is that it's gonna take on some of the rhombus properties. So for example, what, we'll, what we can see is that these are gonna be 90 degrees over here. And remember with a rhombus, it also means that the corner angles get cut in half. So half of 90 is gonna be 45 and 45. But for a square, that's gonna be the same all the way around, 45s everywhere we go. And what we can also see, because now we think of a rectangle, with a rectangle we know that the diagonals are equal to each other. So that length is the exact same length as that over there. And because it's a parallelogram, we know that the diagonals bisect each other, and so we have that over there. So notice how we're mixing the rhombus and rectangle properties into one, and we're forming this kind of shape over here, which is the square. So in summary, a square is a parallelogram that has a 90 degree angle and the two adjacent sides have to be equal to each other. And that causes all of the other things to happen. 